Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more XCOM The Long War. I almost forgot what we were playing here for just a moment. I apologize, but let's see here. Right now we have our research going for 15 days, our build and satellite going for 25 days, we have a bunch of soldiers who are ready to be active, and most of our actual upgraded units is being fatigued or wounded. So we're going to see maybe if we don't get a new mission within the next few days. Even our hangar is uh, down for just a little bit, so hopefully the aliens don't show up right now and they probably will so let's scan for activity yay scanning new situation request from germany and we get abductions as well now this is what i was expecting to see first for assistance abductions and progress are marked on the hollow globe all right so this is south africa and we only have one abduction site right now so we can make the globe freak out that's still a thing so we have people returning back to active duty. We have eight hours left to respond to that. Let's go ahead and look at the situation room real quick. We have a one pending request, which is a satellite transfer to Germany and they'll reward us with two engineers. So that means that one of our sats looks like it will be going to Germany after all, which is 36 credits, which is not bad. And it gives us some coverage over Europe. The two engineers, two engineers early is pretty nice because we only have, uh, I don't remember how exactly you see the number of engineers that you have. I feel like that's something I should remember. But if we look at the facilities here, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. It's like things I used to know how to do. For now, we have alien abductions to thwart in uh, Bloemfontein, South Africa. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, roadway, a corridor with numerous vehicles is the area of operation. Nice to know. All right, so who do we add here? We have, oh boy, we have one sniper that's active and everyone else is fatigued. We have just hours remaining for some reason. So we are gonna take uh, Matthias Fisher. And since you are a sniper now, so here we have all kinds of different rifles here. We are gonna stick with that. He doesn't really need the grenade quite as much. So we can pick something else here, like the laser sight. What does that do? It provides with plus four aim for weapons and rocket launchers. And then what else do we got? We can give him ceramic plating, which would be pretty good. Smoke bomb might also be a good idea here, if only because the smoke grenade uh, gives defensive units to air, air, units everywhere. And because this is a sniper, if we look at his abilities one more time, I did give him squad sight so he can hang back just a little bit. I may want to give him armor instead, but we're going to try like this. So otherwise, we have just kind of more new units that we can throw out here and hope for the best. So Sharon Henry, come on down. And you have a laser sight as well. Congratulations. You're going to be giving that back in just a second. Josh Ward, who we were asking about before. Uh, let's see here. Sharon Henry, who else do we have that has five health? That's kind of my starting mark here. And then let's see here, you don't have a lot of health, but you have a really high aim. So we'll do that. I said, I don't like all the 60s on aim here. Let's see if we can get some good fours. So let's see here. 4 health, 5 health, 4 health. There we go. Olivia Frost. And then let's see here. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Alright, so what do we need to put on some of these units here? Let's go ahead and customize your loadout. You don't need the laser sight, which you need. We're, we're still pretty high on the uh, high explosive grenade, so that's what we're going to do. And you know what? Why do you have an alien trophy? We don't... Okay, well I just accidentally gave you an alien trophy. That's not what we want. Okay. Ward, what do you need? I guess if I give him a med kit, I want to bring two. Let's see here. You're one of our uh, really nice sharpshooters. So instead of the AP grenade, she's going to need some plating. And let's go ahead and give her a grenade as well. So I don't want her to be in the line of fire in case things go on. But as you saw from our last mission, sometimes it's really nice just to have uh, things available like the med kit, like other stuff. So you want to have a few of those. Laser sight for the sniper and a smoke grenade. Looks pretty good to me. I could give two high explosive grenades potentially, but we have our first sniper on a mission on a corridor with numerous vehicles. So this could be a good place for it, especially the squad site. Let's launch the mission. Hopefully this is recording okay. I had some issues getting the recording to start.
at the beginning of this mission, but let's go ahead and see if we can dive in. Hopefully for you, you won't notice as much just because it's editing, but we are on a uh, nice narrow passageway. I can see a car up over here, so chances are there's some aliens over here. Maybe the best way to move. I'm always wary of deep dark woods in the distance over here, and it is actually, you know what? I think I see a meld container right there in the distance so maybe we should try and move for that first I don't want to wake up too many patrols but let's see who we got here we got a bunch of rookies as you may recall and we have one sniper which I'm glad he's in a black vest because usually I change my teammates loadout and everything but this time I kind of uh, neglected that we're gonna go and move our sniper over here into position there is the meld so that's good let's go ahead and steady weapon because usually where there's meld there are aliens so we're going to try and move over here, hopefully not wake up any camps, in fact I think I want to be just a touch cautious here, as I see just the nice little rainfall scatter and everything, of course that's from the old game, and some people would say, oh this game looks so dated now. I mean XCOM's been around for a while, but it's still a, a good looking, I think it's a good looking game. On the move. But it's interesting, you don't normally see Mel that early in the map. But I just want to keep all of my people. I guess I can sprint in the cover here and probably be okay. Because I have enough people to overwatch. But I got to be mindful that, at least on maps like this, now, Enemy Within does change up a lot of, like, the enemy spawns and everything. But almost always you're going to have where these cars are, where this construction site is, at least a patrol is going to be over there. So we'll try and remain cautious. I guess is the best way to do it. Let's not advance too far forward. I think that's okay. So just overwatch everybody who is available. You can probably steady your weapon. Overwatch. So there we go. We have meld right away. I may be able to get it pretty quickly, which would be a pretty nice get. But do we hear any aliens? Of course we do. I'm not getting any sound indicators though, so I don't like that. Now we can... I could do a suicide dash all the way over here for Mr. Ward. That could awake some enemy spawns or something. Let's find out. We're really early in the mission. Okay, we've got we got one set with a drone. Well, you know, at least he sprinted behind full cover, and there's our itchy trigger tentacle right there. So that is a that's the kind of start that I like to see. So these guys are going to have to move into position just a little bit here. Does our sniper have a shot? Yes, three shots actually. 50%, 95%, or 65%. Are you all ready for an XCOM moment? I know I am. Let's go ahead and see if we can miss the 5%. And one shot, one kill. There we go. That's why squad side is pretty damn nice when you can make it work like that. Let's go ahead and move Mr. Vaught up here. Are you in range? No. So let's go ahead and put you on overwatch now here's the thing is that I do have two more sectoids over here this guy could possibly get a mind frayed pretty hard so I've gotta try and I don't think I'm gonna get flanked if I move you in position here still not in range so let's overwatch the important thing is that the aliens cannot see me right now so it's here are you in range yes and you got a 25% chance to hit. Probably better just to hunker down. And then we'll drop you over here. Probably better just to overwatch for now. But we got some aliens right away and we have some meld. Like I said, it's a very dumb dash to do it like this, but maybe he'll just take a shot. Maybe we can get an overwatch in there. He's still behind full cover. And okay, panic resist failed. So he is panicked with four damage, but he's hunkering down, which is great. Alright, so we're going to have to help our bro here. Fortunately, we can't flank this guy. How much can we flank him is the question. I don't want to peek too far over here because there's probably another patrol. In fact, that guy's probably going to get friends right now. So let's hear what kind of shot do we have? 52%. What does our sniper have? It's probably the question I should have asked first. Thir only 30% chance. Alright. Because if we look at this, squad site is not nearly as strong. You got a minus 20%, well it's a 20% chance to crit. He's in high cover, I do have the laser sight, so. Squad site, you still lose your ability to 
get that, but are we in grenade range is the first thing I want to know. Because I could potentially blow up his cover. Because this is not going to, that thing's not going to be affected. Let's try and take out his, well, the question for me first off is the cover's not the log. So that's not going to do a lot. Let's go ahead and take a shot. There we go. That's one way to stop the panic. All right, now we do have another one coming here. So there's our sniper, who may be just good enough to put on Overwatch. You don't have a medkit. Where's one of our medkits? Okay, Mr. Vought. Let's drop you right here. So at least it was just a damage shot thing. Okay. Oh, he's on Overwatch. Well, you're dashing, so I hope you don't get hit. Well, great. You got hit for five. I guess we are going to need that med kit after all. And we do have another shot here for somebody who's now revealed himself. 30% probably worth a try. Nope. Alright. So this is not my favorite way to do this, but we are going to go ahead and just try and take care of our people hunker down just a little bit and you probably need someone on overwatch I don't want to extend way too far but that guy is just a little bit annoying All right, so we got med kits for everybody maybe we gotta see if he's gonna run away if he's gonna fire okay we got a mind fray potentially no who's he firing on he's gonna fire on the weak guy but miss, thank goodness. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the meld. Let's go ahead and heal you. This this is gonna hurt. No, actually it's gonna help. So let's see, now we have You're not panicking, which is great. Now I can go 42 right here. I could potentially get in grenade range. That might be a better move. Alright, a little risky. We do have the 70% flank chance. We do have the armor piercing grenade, which should take him out. I'm going to go for the guaranteed kill instead of 70% flank chance. Because I really don't want this guy to get shot again. Alright, good! Alien Menace destroyed. We got some meld actually on the mission as well, so probably as good of a time as any to uh, advance and look for some kind of patrol. Let's see here. You don't need a reload right now. I better just put you on Overwatch. We got we to gotta regroup a little bit here, I think. Do. So we'll put you over here. I don't like that my sniper's kind of hanging out by himself on the far end here, but behind this tree is a really good spot. I mean, I have a little bit of altitude. I could even move up to this tree and probably be okay. Because with the sniper rifle and everything, we don't gotta worry as much about it. Might as well reload. So we've got one enemy camp down. We got shot just a little bit. Where else are we hearing things? Let's go ahead and move you here. And we may as well medkit you. So how much is this healing for? Heal for three or four. Pretty good. We can go ahead and we're just going to take this nice and slow. On the move. Because you know, this is XCOM. There are always other patrols to be found. And because we got some meld, that kind of takes the clock off for what we're looking for having to get other, like... Because typically you want to get at least one meld canister, if you can, per mission. And I really want to put you in a place where you're going to have better p targeting potential. But I think we're just going to go take it nice and slow. We're probably going to get patrolled here before too long. Should just be sectoid still. There we go. We got a possible actual group over here. And we got meld over there, too. Well, maybe, I don't know. If we move up this way, 
There's probably more enemies here. Let's start with moving these guys over. I don't want to advance too high on the truck here. Let's go ahead and go aye, aye, up here. Eyes on anybody? No. Well, I could grab a battle scanner, I guess, right? Yeah, let's put you on the truck. On my way. And I guess we can go ahead and move up our uh, our team just a little bit. Where do we advance our sniper? I don't want to go too far forward. This cover looks really appealing, though. Okay, still nothing. Hmm. All right, so once again, that meld is ours. You guys are just kind of on your over here, on your own over here. So let's fix that. We need to be grouped up. Guys have done enough lone range during this mission. That's a really long way for that guy to run too. He's not even wearing a tack vest, I don't think. So here's our next little look. Still nothing. I guess one of the fun questions is going to be I'm if we go over here. There we go. Okay, so nobody's firing yet. Oh good, my sniper's actually flanking all of them. Okay, we got a 95 on that one. We got to take it. Way too good. Pass up. 5% missed chance. Let's do it. There we go. Road closed, did you know? Alright, so how many more people do we have here? First question is, are you in grenade range? Not quite yet. Could throw you over here. Okay, you have a 40% chance to hit. We can also grenade and destroy all this cover too, so let's try that. Destroy destroying cover is worth it. If you can get it to go, unfortunately, not only did we not get the kill, but now we have an incendiary car here, I guess, but it's half cover instead of full cover. Let's see here. She can't move again. She could potentially be facing two shots too. We should really hunker down there. Let's move you over here. We'll just overwatch for now. Like I said, I'm a little wary, especially with us being so early in the game of putting anybody in danger that has so little armor. So Ward's already been hit, and let's see here. Battle fatigue. So he's been injured, and his will isn't that great. Okay, we got one shot here. 64% chance. Might as well see if one guy can get it. Now we'll see you get shot at. Okay, Overwatch, do something good. Nope. It's funny, it's like so many people ask, well, why in the world do you Overwatch when they miss so often? But. Okay, we got some flanking here. Oh, good. So you hunkered down, but you still got shot. So they are just trying to flank my forces right now. That's one way to do it. That was a very fortunate miss. They're still focus firing as well. We still got the meld up there too. So let's see here. Sniper. 76, 79. That's another down. It's a lot of damage to be done. Now I don't know who has all the kills, but we are going to play this one like an assault. And just say, hey, we can walk over here. Okay, Habib. If you miss this, I will be shocked. 100% chance to hit. That's that's one way to do it. Alright. So let's see, we got... Who got shot again? Vok shot, got shot again. Alright, well, good news, dude. You have just one son... Oh, that's not what I wanted to go. We want to put you, we want to put you as far away from the action as possible. Because as many soldiers as you start out with, you still are going to need bodies for later. On my way. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and overwatch here. I don't know if we're going to get to the uh, other meld in time. I don't expect to. I don't really care if I do. Because the most important thing is just getting the objective and getting getting out. Affirmative. Of, yes, affirmative. Alright. I think that's actually one of the new voice packs. Go ahead and stay away. So, car explosion. That's why you don't want to go near things that have been grenaded. And you can see that sign took a few turns to burn down, but did burn down. Can we actually see? Yeah, we can see the meld in the fog of war. I don't think we're getting to it. So, since this is probably the edge of the map, this may be the better place to run. Especially if we can move kind of ahead. On the move. That's what we're looking for. All right, let's see. Can't really move you up too well. Unless we dash for this car. Okay, there's the meld. I really do not think we're getting that meld in time. I mean, it didn't start super close. I could drop my sniper on top of this vehicle. That may not be a bad plan if there's not too many aliens nearby. But we're just going to take our time. You kind of need a reload. Let's do this. And we're overwatching. Yeah, let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and drop our sniper up here. Hopefully, we don't wake up another group with this move. All right. So you are just gonna hunker down. Rest of the mission. Good job, bot. You got shot at a bunch. You're going to definitely get some hazard pay here. So there's our next set of friendlies. We just got one. There we go. And that meld's gone. Okay, well that makes it that makes it a lot easier for us to focus. Let's just take it step by step. Because now there's no more meld in play. I'm on the move. No, nothing yet. Okay. Don't. I'd rather have you in half cover or full cover than half cover. That seems to be the best place. Then down here. Heading to that location. Okay. Might as well just Overwatch. Overwatch. Steady weapon. Hide. And I have you steady weapon too, because he'll get a little bit of an aim penalty because he's already been hit. Might as well reload Ready you. All right. I know there. I know there are aliens in this game. I know they're not far from us. Let's see if we can find them. Okay. So getting behind this piece of construction equipment is good. Okay. Let's see if we can get you frost up here a little better, Olivia. Alright, we don't want to get too gung-ho here, because I don't know if they, the sound came over here, but they could be patrolling from the right. And we don't want to get flanked that way. Alright. Gotta overwatch you. Overwatch. May as well walk you up and over. Watch. So yeah, this is kind of the fun cleanup in part of the mission here, where we haven't used a lot of grenades. I might as well reload, because we'll still get the steady weapon bonus. And we're down to practically five people because we don't want to lose our unit. So where are they? Are they coming? Okay, they're still from over here. You're at serious risk of getting flanked, so that's not great. All right, let's move. Okay, we don't want we don't want our guy that got shot to be the point man. Really, but okay, so we got two two bogies. And it doesn't seem like they're they want to fire. So let's see. What is what kind of shot does our sniper have? Sixty-five or fifty? Let's go for the sixty-five. That's a kill, as we know from the spoiler alert. All right, that's a good start. You can hunker down now. Now let's see here. Let's not get stupid. 
I can still get flanked this way, so let's hide you over here. And I don't really want to get stupid here. Oh wow, I can use that as uh, cover. Still nothing, so overwatch. And where is that guy? He's all the way over here, so it's unlikely that he Nothing runs all this way. Okay, we got one shot. But since he can see us, I really should hunker down here. On the move. Okay, see if we can force him to come to us, is the plan. No, he's just gonna fire on my guy. And miss. Thank goodness. All right. I'm all white! How very, uh... It just reminds me of Warcraft, uh, not peons, but footmen. Alright. High explosive grenade, let's go ahead and take out his cover and possibly take him out too. There we go, is that at the end of the mission? Yeah, there we go! Eight aliens killed, zero operatives lost, and we got some melt. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So let's fly on back. Our excavation's complete. Yay! So we'll have some base management stuff for next time. But still overall, I'm really surprised we got the meld without too much casualties. We still got shot a few times. As we have... Oh, wow! So... We have our sniper who's fatigued. We have someone who's gravely wounded for 24 days but he does get promoted into something and we do have some tacticals here interesting interesting in fact you know what I'm gonna do I kinda overestimated some of the stuff before here but we do like running gun standard shots no longer in the turn if taken as the first action you know what I, I really like running gun but you don't need too many people with it. let's do light him up so he's infantry here I really like the ability to shoot twice but he is wounded and then we have Habib here, who can do the same thing. Light him up, or run and gun. Well, considering what Habib already did on this mission, uh, guess what? You get to do... Oh, whoop. not reconsider. Confirm! So we do have an assault here who is going to be totally running and gunning, but we don't want too many more assaults here. And then Vought. We have Rocket Launcher or Suppression. I still really like Rocket Launchers, especially for a guy like this that doesn't have... A lot of armor. Suppression can be good, and I feel like maybe I should have one person that gets suppression, but we're going to have him be a rocketeer. So there we go. That's going to be it for now. This is Asher. We did get a drone wreck, some sectoid courses, some Illyrium for the first time, and some meld, which is very important. We decreased panic in South Africa. We don't have too much more other than the satellite request in Germany, which will give us two engineers, which is really nice this early in the game. But yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time with even more XCOM The Long War, where we shall see what aliens try and throw at us next, because we're obviously going to have a few more encounters, but notice that we have a lot of our soldiers who are starting to be less fatigued and more ready to fight. So that should be interesting in the long run. we still got to get a few of the different classes unlocked here, but we'll talk about that next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.